Hello and welcome to Health and Life with me, Coach Natalie, where I'm spreading love, light, knowledge to you. And today I want to come and bring you an update. Yep, I'm bringing you an update. This is an update about my weight loss journey. And as you can see on the thumbnail, like, yes, I am down from 250 to 218 and continuing my, um, my journey to Wonderland. Yes, Wonderland, O-N-E. Yes, I am continuing that journey. So, um, yeah, so I said I would bring you guys an update and here I am. So I, as you can see from my previous videos, if you didn't watch yet, I was taking, I had started taking Manjaro a few months ago. Um, back in December, I started actually taking Manjaro and I took it for a few weeks and, um, was concerned about what possible side effects there are with Manjaro. So, but I felt like I needed a boost. So I went ahead, I went to the doctor, he recommended it and I took it, um, for a few weeks. But in the meantime, um, I found a group, which I have been following for two years and they're a fasting group and I've never joined. They talk a lot about fasting on their channel and the channel is called a healthy alternative. I will link them down below. You can um, check them out yourself. Um, if you're interested in uh, fasting, they talk a lot about fasting, but it's also not just about fasting. It's about healthy eating, but I've never joined any of their challenges. So I decided that in, um, in January last month that I was going to join, um, I was going to join one of their, actually not January in December. So I started, let me back up. I started the Manjaro in November and then I transitioned to these, this group. I started using this group. I joined this challenge in December. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but, um, it's been, it's been a long journey and it's a wonderful journey. I joined the group because, and it was probably the best thing I did because having a community of people that are like-minded and it's not judgmental. And it was actually supposed to be a 21 day water fast challenge. So you were actually supposed to water fast for 21 days. But when I joined the group, it actually turns out that, you know, there it's very open to, yes, people were doing the 21 day challenge, but it's, it's very supportive and it was very open. Um, to and very supportive of people that are just starting their journey, not having to do a 21 day fast. So you did what you could, right? Like, so, um, there were dif there are different types of fast and I'm not going to get into all that. If you want to learn about fasting, then, you know, you can go to that channel, but I joined that group because I knew I needed to, I needed support first of all to change and make this make this transition for myself and I was having trouble with I'm not sure what it was exactly I just felt like my body when I went and I I got this medication the doctor recommended it I was just like I just feel like my body's kind of sluggish my metabolism is sluggish I can't you know it's, it felt like didn't matter what I did um it wasn't working and it had to be something I was doing right so uh, one of the things that ended up happening when I joined the group is that I cut a lot of meat out of my diet and it happened organically. Um, it was part of the challenge, of course, that we were doing a cleanse. So part of the challenge was not to eat meat. And, you know, I literally after the challenge, I don't after I did the challenge, I didn't have a craving that much for me like I did before. And if you ask me, for me, that's probably what has made the biggest difference. So my diet it consists of mostly veg fruits and vegetables, and very um, I've been very, I've been able to get very creative about how I incorporate those fruits and veggies. So that um you know sometimes it's simple, right? Like I just plop. It's just an apple, an orange, a banana. I don't know. That's the meal, right? Like, because I, I, I don't want to think about it. But on the days where I'm like, oh, I would love to have a healthy meal. I, I'm, you know, I have this dish that I make. It's a spiralized zucchini with a cashew avocado cream. And it's freaking amazing. Throw some um, 
there are some um what are those called the uh, sun-dried roasted sun roasted tomatoes in there and it's amazing anyhow i digress so <clears throat> with that i've been able to stick it out and i was able to within three weeks of joining the challenge i was able to stop taking the manjaro but then keep losing weight and um so now what i'm doing is i've joined um the group has another challenge and it's a 21 day juice challenge um and it's a juicing challenge where you roll in uh, there, there's a method to the madness and like i said you can check a healthy alternative out if you're interested in that but my point is that i knew that i had to find a lifestyle that was going to be fitting for me and i always knew that fasting was necessary because i did the the 16 8 right like where i fast for 16 hours and i had an eight hour eating window and that's how i started fasting right and before that it was like 12 12 and where i made sure that within that 12 hour window that's i didn't eat and after that 12 hour window was done that was it and then so you give your body time to rest and cleanse overnight and then it was i decreased from 12 hours i went to 10 hours so this is when I started, but then I just found that that even that was not enough because you still have to make, you have to make dietary changes. And it's really hard to say until you start this journey, which diet dietary changes are going to work for you because what works for you may not work for me. And what works for me is not going to work for you. So there's not like a one size fits all to dietary changes. What is a one size fits all is that fasting works. Um, but you have to find which the different ways you can fast, right? Like different ways you can do it. And so you have to find what fits into your lifestyle and what works for you. So that that can take a little bit of time to do, but it's worth it's worth it to have the lifestyle change that you want. And now going into this juice challenge that I'm doing that I just started, it's amazing that um, I feel really good. And, you know, I'm not so concerned with the scale anymore. I'm more concerned about the health benefits that I'm getting right now. And of course I'm concerned with the scale, right? Because that's the goal. The goal is to get to a healthy way, not to, um, not to develop diseases and to ward off any diseases that have manifested in my body, you know, when I was unhealthy. And so the, 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 what, what I want to bring to you is that whether or not like there's no judgment. This was my journey. So, you know, some of you may have judgment about whether or not like you, you take the drug or don't take the drug. I know there's a lot of judgment out there. This was my journey. This is what I did because I knew that this that I at the time I was like, OK, I need a boost. And that boost was just what I needed because the drug curbs your appetite. Right. So going into a fasting challenge was it just made it it just um it enhanced my ability to be able to do that fasting, that fasting challenge, and then to stick to it. And then after and wean myself off and then continue, you know, and it, it's just amazing after I did that challenge, like I said, like some of the things that I was eating before and thought I needed to have all the time, I don't really feel the need to have it. And when I do, it's not that I'm a, I'm not going to tell you I'm a vegan or a vegetarian or anything like that. But you know, if I feel like eating it, I eat it. I eat. I've I've made a choice that when I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna get high quality food. So, you know, grass fed. If I'm gonna eat beef, a steak, I'm gonna get a nice piece of grass fed steak, right? And that's gonna be a little bit more expensive. But I'm not eating steak every day either. And so, giving my body for me, that's been that and the cheese. I have to say, cheese. Cheese has been removing the cheese and the um the through this challenge for me i mean because i had done some cleansing before so sugar was not part of my diet already i had already removed processed foods and and, and sugar so for me it was like the cheese and the the um some of the meats that i was eating which are not the highest quality can cause inflammation in the body and so it was removing those things I believe that allowed my body to 
to to to kind of make a switch, a hormonal switch that allowed me allowed me to start shrinking and losing weight, you know, because I also lost inches with this. So this is it's been pretty amazing. And I hope to continue. Like I said, I'm gonna probably continue joining these challenges on a healthy alternative because I, I love the support and you should check them out. I you know, I think everyone should fast because everybody needs a period of time where your body is resting and cleansing itself. And for me right now, and every, you're going to decide for you what that means. But for me, that means that I don't eat anything solid till about 11 or 12. You know, I wake up early. I wake up around five in the morning and then I don't eat till about 11 or 12, you know, depending on how hungry I feel. I mean, I do listen to my body though. If I have days where I'm like, oh, it's 10 and I've been up since 4.35 and I'm hungry, then I eat, right? Like, and I eat and I, I'm mindful about what I eat also. So it's also being mindful. The other thing I learned is that being mindful about what you fuel your body with um, initially when you decide to break your fast is really important because that will dictate whether or not you have cravings the rest of the day. So this is just an amazing journey. I will probably post again in a couple of months. I'll let you know. I don't know. Who knows? Like, you know what? I may decide to use Manjaro again. I don't know. I, you know, I really don't know. This is just my journey. I know that it wasn't, um, it's not the healthiest, but it's also not the healthiest to be overweight and have inflammation running through rampant through your body, right? So that's not healthy either. So we make choices and this was mine. And but it was also my choice not to not to want to stay on the drug. So and to find a way to have a lifestyle that was going to suit me for the rest of my life and so far so good and i'm enjoying this group like i said check them down i will link them in the description box below for you if you're interested um but yeah i just i promise an update so here it is and so until next time i'm sending you love light